because he was fearless. And I mean, that was his motto. Fear nothing. I'm born in Africa, in Gandhi Square. He rapped in English and he switched it. Oshanga Venek, but yo, lento le impossible. Lunga yenza ngelango tia. Pro's a better performer than Forbes on a beat. Yeah. Lendam Kize was born and raised in Klebsbreit, Soweto. When he was a teenager, he would take part in rap battles and cyphers to showcase his skills. So passionate to the point where he'd walk long distances all the way to Deep Kluf and showcase his talent to Soweto residents. Pro Kid started his rise to the top with Slaches. Slaches provides a platform for upcoming rappers and MCs who come together every Sunday doing everything hip hop from rap battle competitions to freestyling and just showcasing their skills. <laughs> Second Jalu, okay, men are profiting this Kalu. It's like as inspiring as we are and ever since you've been living, she won't be hard. It is reported that Pro Kid and Proverb are among many hip hop stars who were discovered at Slaches. Hence, they held the place to a very high esteem. The Slaches period for Pro Kid was so essential to his growth because he then discovered the kind of artist he wanted to be. And if you really look at people like Pro Kid, for example, he rapped in English throughout the Gandhi Square and Lee Club era, and then came Slaches, and then he started switching. Obviously, Pro had a beat which everybody knew that. Once DJ Chicken throws on that G unit beat with the guns, push, push, Pro is at Slaches. <laughs> The owner of Slaches Ennis said he started seeing a different pro kid develop because he started realizing that if he carried on rapping in English, he'd be building a barrier and wouldn't be able to connect with his fellow people. Hi. It didn't take long enough because the OG came with a Vanak verse the following session they met up. There was certainly some change about him. That was certainly the day that changed SA hip hop forever. Pro Kid then became the only rapper to move from English to Isi Zulu or any other South African language like it's just one language in one verse using double entendres in any language he's using for that line the rhyme scheme and the skill of Pro Kid could even be compared to the likes of Nas. To be honest Jay-Z doesn't even come close to Pro. He wasn't scared of any rapper and he would take on any challenge and while he was battling in the streets of Soweto and regular visits to Lee Club in Johannesburg, Pro would also involve himself in rap competitions on radio stations just also trying to get his name out there. During this time a show by the name of Full Clip took place on YFM and Pro decided to join the rap battle competition. He went head to head with Gallo signed artist Kato and this battle alone set a milestone for YFM as this final showdown gave the radio station its first 1 million listeners. So you're gonna start dog right? Yeah I'll start. Alright go to town guys let's go. Okay. Here's the meme, the moment that everyone's been waiting for right? Alright Pro. Yo, you so dumb it'll take three of you to battle me. Cause you one of the most predictable MCs. Like Dwala, Gula Bala, Danky San, blah blah blah. Did Sid Money promise to take you to America? I thought so. Well I'ma chew you like a nacho. Make your manager relocate to Burkina Faso. Fresh on the scene, pro kid, hip hop queen. A really ghetto version of uh, some easy, I'ma finish you easy. You can't be serious. Those bubblegum rhymes that you drop in only tease me. A real MC has gotta have play. You need to collaborate with a Mzege Zege, then maybe you'll get a hit. Maybe you'll get a mask to cover that big head. You better hope it'll fit. But you should never set foot in the underground again. Cause if I find you there, you bound to get an ass whipping. Take a close listen. I'm not dissing. Come on. Everybody needs a little competition. By little, I mean you. Little pro boo boo. Good gaga boo boo. You getting free play yourself. Sport, I'm getting free boo boo. Lyrically, I'm way older than you. You cannot do like I do. I think this battle is through. <laughs> sure. I shall be lamb there. I shall have a mahara of the small building to another first. And Fundi Sifora on Han. Such I've been to take a glance into one. My man, I mean. 
Umame lang eh. Oh, oh. Ang ganda si pare ba? Sure. I know this is a publicist stunt and somebody's bluffing. Since you like so go ahead, get a muffin. Stop it, man. You know I done split you. The same way I came back with raps and I hit you. You just mad cause I'm from Soweto. And I came through on the mic to represent the same streets of Jersey. Still rap ill and I switch lop Jersey. When you need to ning 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 I'm a banana, you still think you're the rhymer. Stop it, I'd expect. I'm very young and you're just a timer. Well, I can tell you this. You can't hear what I'm saying. Well, what? Bring it up, we gotta be playing I know that you'll be thinking that I'm rapping but I'm thundering But pardon me man, I'm not scared, I'm not stuttering You're probably thinking that this is me and opponent But fuck it man, I'm here to face this damn moment And you know that I come through to bless the bless While you still trying to do the ish, try to contest Well I could tell you this, screw you and your sexy flows Cause I'ma make you run like pantyhose Zorana son No, that's not all I gotta say What? Don't be scared Huh? Scared of what? Scared of what? Well, no shit, man, I'm from the hood, I chill with crooks If I'm scared, it's cause of you, cause you got ugly looks Other than that, I really got nothing to say Except that you're more feminine than the word gay So hey, you can bring it back, man You think you got raw ears? How, how long have I been a girl or what? Four years, I've been there, eight months, and I done took over I ain't camouflage, homie, but you're looking at a soldier Now my chance to cast a Gucci fed and ghetto fabulous Cause I'm just rocking this microphone so miraculous You just jealous, but hey, you gotta tell us Don't be feminine about it, spraying the rumors and the scanners Now everybody out there is listening cause I'm killing you More like I'm boring you, right? Yeah, you're right, I'm drilling you A big hole is all you need and I'm just feeding you Everything you need, hey man, let me just proceeding through Okay, fine, let's just give him a chance cause you'll know that it's nothing but a circumstance Well I can tell you this I will, I'm about to make it harder So you don't have to okay. rap and do that Goo goo gaga Oh wait, don't rap Before you even try to spit You're not good for the speed So hey, switch that ish <laughs> Okay Sure, right YFM Entertainment Minute is over now So check this out Pro boy, you're irritating uh. You're like a mongol ejaculating Come on, man. Who the, think, who the hell do you think you're facing? Think about it twice. I'm nicer than you. Much nicer than better bats and put the lights ago. Hey, yo, I turned off your lights a long time ago. Okay? That whole play, that flow that you do was played out. Now, nah, please change the beat for me. I'm not feeling oh. it. Get me something really tight so I can make a meal of this punk. You know, you're not even freestyling, dog. We're supposed to be freestyling. Back through, not freestyle, brother. Come on, oh. let's freestyle. Bread, butterfly, might stab you. Go on. Yeah, let's freestyle, Joe. <laughs> You wanna freestyle? Okay, it's cool. How about you start first? You might jump in the pool, but I'ma be up here and make sure you hold it down. But don't bubble up, Google Gaga, cause you might Yo, drown. It's an outburst, cause now I thirst for your blood. Uh, it's a curse, your community is drowning in the flood. Well, you're the first you that will find dead, lying in, in the mud. In your hurt, self will burn dead, ignited by the flood. I'm on a manhunt. Uh, I know exactly who I want. Who? So don't you come and try to pull a silly, silly stunt, cause you're I'm not coming <laughs> 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 you see, it's mad focus. Cats is hopeless. Get a blunt. Maybe you'll be the dopest. I could tell you this. Why are you giving up? No, I'm giving it to him. Take it. I'ma spit it up. Yeah, go ahead. You more like it up. ghetto dustbins. You can't pick it up. Okay, that's good. I okay. think my verse was wow. I don't want to lie to you, you know. But he came back on some. Oh. Okay, okay. So I tried coming back with my second verse. As I wrote my second verse, dude starts rapping with me. All right, all right, all right. I stopped, he continued. He stopped. And then I tried again coming on. And this dude is rapping with me. And now he's hitting rhymes off the head. You know, I'm like, yo, bro, come on, we're supposed to be freestyle. Actually, freestyle, backstroke. <laughs> backstroke, baba. After chairs, rhino bar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, bruh. Hey. Uh, you know what? Hey, I'm for this. I keep a mahala hula. Say, no, I'm going to go. Hey, oh. Uh, you know what, bro? Uh, hey, you know what, fresh? I, I give up. After Kato gave up in the second round, Pro was crowned champion of the full clip competition, and this led him to his breakthrough recording deal. Around 2005, YFM launched a concert at Nasrec where performances, ciphers and battling would take place. This moment became one of the most iconic moments of SA Hip Hop because this was where the battle of the two pros had happened. 
What made this battle even more interesting was the fact that both their debut albums were releasing that same year. Uh, I think if memory serves me correct, there was some kind of coin toss to establish who's gonna go first. Um, and I think I went first. Um, now I didn't have much on Pro, you know, but all I had was that he was, he had, uh, you know, he was maybe a little short, uh, he had a light voice because I remember I kept talking about that a lot because I think that's all I had on my dude um, Man and when he came back He had all the content because you know, he knew that I worked at YFM. He knew that I had done some the groundbreakers. He knew that I was uh, I think I was a channel presenter. So all this content came up and he just came at me, came at me, came at me uh, Then I remember saying all right, no more Mr. Nice Guy, right? And then I, I try to hit him with some more lines, you know, um, and I, I try to rebuttal some of the content that he had, but it was honestly, it was it was a weak rebuttal, you know, and needless to say, by the time Pro came with what was to be the last round, man, he absolutely had all the content, the crowd was on his side, and he absolutely waxed me that day. Yo, Pro, now tell these cats where you're from. Pro became famous after the release of his first single Soweto and the song is a representation of his birthplace and it was produced by his longtime producer and collaborator Omen the Chef. A follow up on this song was a song called Wozobona. My older sister playing Wozobona a thousand times, like literally one thousand times. Wozobona gained widespread popularity in South Africa and set the path for his debut album Heads and Tails in 2005. Pro moved from being an underdog to having the most anticipated album that year. His deliverance and message on this body of work inspired, educated, healed and entertained many South African people to the extent that it was dubbed the Gussie Rap Bible. On Soweto he says for you complicated critics, hear these concentrated lyrics, they may finish you incomplete like Popeye without spinach. Beginners thinking you the winners and leaders. I'll gaffer slap you till you swallow that sophisticated English. Onunga pelu moya san. We hear a very uplifting version of Pro with lyrics like Unga pelu moya san, no mamangak bambang and tizio, which basically means don't give up. Even if people build grudges upon you or they wish bad upon you to see you lose, just keep going. Then he says, This pilep totini, this kike sportini, this kipi fostina. Basically, he's talking about gangsters or just regular township guys who are always committing crimes or, in a different situation, they are always hanging out with the ones committing crimes. But when they all get to the tavern or pub, they're the ones with 4,000 rand to spend. This was very inspiring work from Pro, but it's just an all-round experience because on the same album we have a song like Fede Fokon. He says I betray hell, turn around and smack demons. He says no mabangazenza ngon on tuana yisam sokon. Meaning, flex all you want, but we all have our struggles. Pro doesn't only give you the trauma of the townships, but also shows us the beauty in it. The beauty in which shows us that even in the roughest places of South Al, we still managed to find him and he made it out. This was certainly an introduction to his skill of rhyming vernacular words with English consistently throughout the project. Heads and Tails became a commercial success and this proved to many that even as a lyrical artist with an underground sound, you can still make it to the top of the commercial food chain. Pro Kid gained some mainstream and commercial attention. The popularity of his name earned him attention from brands such as popular liquor brand Fish Eagle including Lokshin Culture, where he became the first hip hop artist to have his own shoe line Pro Inc. Pro didn't waste any time in 2006, he was already offering his sophomore album titled DNA. The album didn't do too well and many speculated it was rushed and didn't connect with the masses. On an interview with Hype Magazine, Pro stated that his deadline was in a few weeks, yet he wasn't even done collecting his beats for his project. This was the beginning of the departure between Gallo and Pro Kid, because this wasn't a Pro Kid album, it was a Gallo album. With many speculations and rumors around the reasons to leaving Gallo, he had to set the record straight after he was asked by Andy Lengube. Yeah, as the move from Carlo to TS, obviously interrogation yana, you know reasons. See. The point of pro now, it's been said that he's moved from a Carlo to a TS. 
Now, I want one thing from Mopro. Apparently, he's a lyrical genius. He was really good cause just the other day. So, I want him to tell us what's going on in rhyme. That's it. That's the whole interview. Mopro is going to look straight into the camera and he's going to tell us why he left, if there's any beef, what's going on, what's the future in rhyme. And he's going to end it with tears for life. Are you ready? On the spot, boy. On the spot. Are you ready? Zasha, now we're going to talk. I wasn't ready, but. The trouble was in London, it had a steady and make sure which third album is gonna be heavy. So if you really believe Ubom Rap and my MC, this time is a full package in she and empty. Who tell you that it's nothing I can swallow, no lamp, I'm gonna flop me in another band basicalo, not an chill team. Um, it came to an end simply because of pro as a single basega it bread. I wanna know the last bang it in a comer and some shy freestyle, not a bang for nail, or man, chop. Uh, so uh, just to make it quick for you, we'll roll it up like a TF. I had to move from Ghana, you know why? BTS. Whether it's townships, whether it's TVs, us or to whatever you want to call it. BTS for life is Donkey Sun. Ayo, man's part. And that's it. Peace. Peace. <laughs> 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 <Yeah. laughs> You tore it. I Pro Kids move to TS Records was strategically brilliant due to the fact that it would enable him to completely connect with the true pro. He finally found himself. In 2007, Pro decided to rebrand himself by dropping the kid in his name and just going by the name Pro. He stated it was time for maturity and usually, your third album is an imprint to being an OG. Showing maturity and growing into the name Pro, he became an OG in the game after giving Ivy League their breakout hit Bamba. That one Soweto boy is Piero. This song now moved Pro to a different demographic and audience. He couldn't just be labeled the hardcore commercial rapper, if that makes sense. Because at this point, he was more than that. Pro became a household name that holds a legacy of a role model. This album is a certified classic in SA Hip Hop, with hits like Utini Ngo Pro, Mrepa Wenzani. In this project, we can hear just how involved Pro is in the process of making it. We can hear the freedom and free will to do whatever he wants with his new team. Yeah. Pro, mm -hmm. rest in peace, pro. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But, bro, I see him as like the Jay Z of this shit. Yeah. It, it was like, but in terms of the craft, because it's like, yeah. bro, no matter what pro did, even yeah. if it was on an average level, yeah. you just had to put it on a, you had to put it on a pedestal, because it's like, he's just too great at what he does. What's mm -hmm. that? It's just, you know, when I see that that song, Utini um, on Pro. Yeah. And I'm watching the video, and I'm and I'm listening to the song, and I'm hearing those kids. Yeah. It's giving me the same effect I got when I was watching. Yeah. It's a hard yeah. knock life. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, like, yeah. Yeah. it's like that nigga really did that. In 2009, Pro released his fourth studio album, Snakes and Ladders. With the project, Pro was stable in the game. He wasn't the guy trying to prove a point anymore. His job was to make beautiful music for his core fans, and always do it out of love and passion over money and power. Pro wanted to offer himself to South Africa as a nation with this album by offering a project which is arguably his most artistic. And he offered himself to the industry with a couple of features on there. But the raps and punchlines stayed the same, you know Pro. Yes, he isn't trying to prove he can rap anymore, he's just trying to show he'll always be that pro from Slaches. Even with the fame and endorsements and awards, this album produced songs like Sekele and that's literally SA Hip Hop's anthem. That's the theme song for SA hip hop culture. And how can we forget the iconic song Presa Pusha Panda, which became a popular South African phrase that you hear everywhere? In 2011, Pro left DJ Swoo and TK Nuza's record company TS Records. According to a story by City Press, the musician said he wanted to grow not only as an artist but also as a businessman in the industry. There's no bad blood between him and TS, yet in a response which sounded much like what the ANC said when COPE was formed, DJ Spoo was quoted by the paper as having said that he feared Pro would not make it out there on his own. Pro is not the first artist to leave TS Records. 
Other names such as Briggs, Sintando, and Brown Dash have also come and gone from its books. But at the same time, new talents seem to be emerging in the form of 23-year-old Zahara at the time. In 2012, Pro dropped his final album, Continua, and gave us the hit song, Makasana. Um, I'm happy with him, you know. Sure. Um, what's the plan though with the Mabala noise? Um, <laughs> yeah, <what? laughs> uh, it's not even much, but I think it's, it's as simple as um, I, I, I'm dealing with, with, with a group of adults. Yeah. Have a, a, a group of people who've got a strong driving force and also want, obviously, to be familiar with the music business. Have a, uh, so it's nothing much besides joining forces, if I may say so, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, them having the power to generate and me having whatever experience I have to spend. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. um, so basically, it's only in the studio yet, you know? I yeah, man. I heard, I heard word on the street to go to the signal. It's in the <laughs> oven. Melange, <laughs> you uh, No, yes, I'm gonna. I'm just uh, doing my uh, touch ups now, you know. In 2017, he co-hosted the SABC One Rap Battle Competition One Mic for two seasons alongside with Big Zulu. Broadcast live. Out here with Pro. Pro, I say kid anymore. You know, stand up with them. I'm not doing it. I'm not. Uh, union the SABC from uh, now you're doing a show that's actually judging the type of skill that you are actually were bringing to the game like from my eight years ago you know it's like a full circle eh? it's, it's like me reminding you mm. yeah Diplomatial garage. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah two dates and now I think it's our turn to just discover these artists and just give them a platform. You know, like until anything you could you and panel with me. Until anything you could you but you know what Vanna um yes I want to always ask me about the game, about like you know the new kids and what I think. And I go in Fana I wonder if like a guy like Casper like aka like Ricky Rick, I mean MT if those guys were struggling in Fana, then we never did a good job. You understand now, it's ten. for us it was a hustle. Yeah. 14. Yeah. 14. Yeah. 14. Yeah. Man, it's a good career. Yeah. Full on career. You know? Once you're on screen, once you have a good song, once you're marketable, once you pitch a grand, and you stay humble and easy. Like, yo, I am not know if I'm going to get a Now we are coming. Yeah. It's just yeah. 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 yeah, so now the young stars, it's just a matter of obviously, it's a mold and another. It's a balancing. Now we're now merging substance with trap and whatever is that is out there, that is, that is current. And, and you know, I mean, the head of the marketing, marketing manager, SAVC. Is the guy who's from our generation of rap. The fact that now we have an opportunity to open that door for the next generation. You know what I mean? I mean, who best but us to go, yo, handle this like this, look at this like this. And you guys now have a whole show around that. You know what I mean? When for you though, who is the standout artist? Yo, 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 yo. I think you know, the balance is, is amongst maybe like probably five of them yeah. or six of them. Like Zonke in Donas in Twim, it's just a matter of um, it's a TV show, the competition, 
Yeah. Pro Kid. The hip hop artist died last night after suffering a seizure. kids that write pros the proof artists like aka and kulichana took to the stage to reminisce about pros music Lema said, Pro not only contributed to South African hip hop, but to the whole of South Africa and gave pride to black people. So I heard about the Pro's contribution, and you keep on saying Soweto. It is not Soweto he contributed to, because Soweto is a synonym for black people's place. So he didn't contribute to Soweto only. He contributed to the whole of South Africa and to blackness. Black people today are confident because of people like Pro. I'm recording with so Can I get to get a moment? Yeah. Just this one time and just be a fan and then we'll move on. I got the man in studio with me, award-winning artist Jabalani Tambo, or as you know, double H. 